Hello Infernoble friends. So we're back again with the high skill match and right now we are going to see um, the double side build. So let's begin. So we lose the dice roll and again we are going to keep the, this concept of playing as if we were like doing the, the, the real duel. So no hand knowledge. And I mean, let's just uh, let them go off because we don't have hand drops. So, okay, they are on Sorcel and they don't start with a Sorcel. So they are going to go on these guys, which means they maybe don't have a Sorcel or maybe they want the protection from Valor, Gamma and Nip. So they are going to do that play where, you know, <laughs> they get protection with the Yang Xing. Anyway. Okay, no, never mind. They didn't. So I think they are playing really hard into Nib. Maybe they don't expect Nib in the main deck. And I think it's it's not correct, but well, they can get away with that because we don't have it. And right now, yeah, they go search blackout and they got a draw. So this is looking pretty good for them. Um, they have the long yuan. They have the yeah, synchro like and they have the full board. Of course. Yeah, they save this till the end so they can get a draw. Pretty smart from them. Like if they're not gonna respect Nibiru, they may as well do the all in play where you know they get the benefit. And now what can they search? I mean they already use Long Yuan, probably follow up. Maybe it was not worth to use it there. I mean they could save this for next turn unless they have doubles. Or they don't wanna top deck this? I don't know. Anyway, so so that that's it. And yeah, we know tie and blackout. We know that blackout is set. So we're facing at least four interruptions, and maybe two hand drops, one or two, because they have tie. And we have droplets, so we have a chance. Now, what are we going to droplets? That's the big question. That's what I want you to think. Um, before we we begin, like should we use it in the draw phase standby? Of course not. They they are not, they are not using quick effects right now, so we may as well get the benefit of droplets and um, costing heritage, because you know this is a normal normal spell, so we can do that. And of course, we need to get rid of two more. Like we need to negate the the all the, the three guys. It's really important that we negate all. So <clears throat> um, we have to cost one, one of the normal summons, probably Ogier, because this has more value, and then one of these. What's the right answer? Can you guess the right answer? Okay, let's begin. And also, should we droplets now? Because there's also this cute um, play where we <coughs> use, let's say, connector, they change this, change this, and we droplet cause connector. That way connector is dodging the negation, and then we only need to cause one more. So like only connector and anything else is negating the other two. And yeah, this is already gone. That play is nice, but we, if we do that, most likely we're not gonna do this benefit of, you know, chain link one heritage, chain link two droplets. Because it's really unlikely. Yeah, yeah, there's no way that we summon connector and then use this. Yeah. So between these two, I think using heritage is sa more safe because this is guaranteed um, advantage and this depends on the negating. So yeah, that, that maybe is not the best. Now we are deciding to commit red layer early. We could also save this in hand in case we predict that they are going to blow our... our two monsters or our soul plus anything else and then we can summon this later on because we know they have blackout yeah it's not even a question so we decided no maybe they are not gonna use this or they wanna save this until it's too late and maybe if we already have at least one warrior this is gonna be dead so yeah there's no point and now um, it's okay so we decided to go with the connector and risk and try to bait Shisha, which is really likely to happen. Like, they have to Shisha here. 
even if they have like a veiler they rather use this because um, this is more vulnerable and veiler being in hand is more safe so yeah let's see yeah they should <laughs> think on the first special summon on here ah because they could banish this summon uh, I think it's not worth because they know they could banish his salt so yeah they took the bait banish target connector chain droplets on connector and probably ogier yep so too that's what i told you that could happen but again looking back this was not optimal let me tell you what was the optimal play be before this game state advanced too much the optimal was <coughs> to um, use it early and um, cost three you know what you need to cost you need to cost heritage ogier and lady these three negate the tree and the benefit is that this won't have 28 it, it would have 14 and that com could come up and also the benefit is that uh, we we don't rely on they taking the bait also the benefit is that then heritage can get us renot and then with this on board we can summon renot and grab back li fl flint lady so then we would have like yeah more monsters to to work with uh, and the idea would be to just uh, how can i say this use this and the renode into his salt or maybe they don't let us his salt and they just uh, pop both both monsters and then we still have connector and lady like we would have three bodies after they um they pop the board you know yeah or maybe even yeah maybe we could have more i think uh, sorry sorry I'm, I'm gonna take that back the best play after we resolve the droplets correctly and cost lady heritage ogier you know with this as chain link wank then we have on hand in hand red layer renault connector so we should normal summon connector special summon dolphin of course they are gonna use uh, blackout before we get hand knowledge they blow the board and then we summon red layer renault grab flint and then we have renault as tuner extender so even if it's all gets negated we have a um, yeah tuner extender which is cool um so to maybe play around a hand drop so again what's gonna happen now uh, in this game state they are gonna blow the board and then like we have two extenders so it's fine <laughs> but now uh, we should like get a second red layer yeah so we have an extra i mean red layer is similar to renault but yeah this is not gonna be live unless they pop everything again so yeah it just this card fodder pretty much they didn't know this was negated but i'm gonna prove it with love that it was then we then we get another search more follow-up second effect they let us summon tg striker so maybe they don't have hand drops at, at this point we would have like one if we had renaud on, on board because then we just summon doppel warrior and we have double loop and it was easy win because we have this now we are not winning <laughs> we are just surviving and making side lock which is another another win condition just different so yeah we destroy this and then uh, we go for halki and just make the standard side lock i believe yeah nothing else nothing else this is fine it's enough because this cannot interact with side lock because this banish monsters that are special summon and spell traps that are activated so like they could they could banish uh i don't know wonder magician and it doesn't matter because wonder triggers and then they could banish side but still side triggers and they are going to use this to banish side which is a huge mis huge misplay because we have tg wonder to tag out I think they didn't realize it. Now we have Fleur. 
So like they misplay here, but we misplay before. If we didn't misplay, we were gonna OTK, and this misplay would not have uh, happened. <laughs> Just so you know. So now, I think when they kill this, we should have triggered Dagda. Yeah, we didn't. Too bad. We are. I think we are not paying attention to this because we. I mean, like we already have control of the board, so why even bother? Like. We should win for sure. So let's see. We equip, equip. Now, the thing is, we could go assault and try to get Renault to wear back this, but we don't want to lose into any hand drop, so we rather just control the board. Because we have three interruptions, and this can be side lock again. It's like there is no rush. We are going to win the next turn. Yeah. So we just side lock again, and we have gear free to protect from Bell. Random belt, probably they top deck it. And yeah, that happened. <laughs> now, let's see uh, game two. They are gonna go crazy again with Desire. They are gonna, they, they Desire twice, man. So again, we let them full combo. We only open Duster. We need like a Dark Ruler droplet. They are gonna do similar combo like before. So maybe they think we are not into Nibiru, but I'm pretty sure we, we had three Nibirus here. We just didn't draw them. So again, they get away with that. They get draws. They're gonna repeat the same play, I think, of having Long John. And then a free draw. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what happens. And now, the thing is that they have too much, too much set. So as long as they, there is no like judgment or I mean it could be judgment as long as they don't have anti spell we win because this trade with the back row and then this with the monsters and then we have connector heritage and they had the anti spell there is not not much to say nothing too skillful here um, if these were hand traps I think it would have been the same result because we top deck this as the sixth and one hand trap. I mean, only if it was Nibiru, and again, we were playing Nibiru, so not much we can do. And game three, so what What does this mean? I mean, we have duplicates, man, that's bad. So we have just three cards, Renault, Durendal, Gearfrit, and duplicates. This is The second Gearfrit is useless, and the Durendal is useful, because we, we can use it to have a negate, uh, Gearfrit negate. So the only play that we have is normal summon this. If we get Ash here, I mean, we still have like some gear fit, Maggie Soul and try to go off. But now the cool part is that we can play through at least one hand trap. Any hand trap besides Imperm. Because we have gear fit to protect the entire combo. But this means no, no double loop. We just have to go for the side lock with gear fit to protect from hand traps. I think that's more safe. And the cool part is that we could uh, side lock better. Like this is side lock and this has a negate, but we don't want to lose to dark ruler. So we might as well just, yeah, make floor so we can beat dark ruler in case they have it. So we trigger Dagda, we pop it. And yeah, the entire combo we had hand trap protection and now we can play through Dark Ruler, which could be, could be optimal, could be not. I mean, if they had like a bell, then we would rather just have a gear free. Do you want to see what they had? Okay, let, let's see this time. Okay, they didn't have anything, man. We were safe. Like still, like this is enough to win because we have a lot of follow-up in hand. So we just let them draw in, in the side lock. They don't have too much to do. Uh, the bad part about this side log is that we had to get rid of Hulk before, so we don't have access to another floor. But again, the follow-up is enough. Trust, trust me. They can only build a wall. And yeah, is this wall is gonna be enough? <sighs> of course not. Like, let, like, do you, do you see how are we gonna win? I think it's straightforward. We just 
try to be the hand trap and here like we are ripping Nibiru or any hand traps and if they negate like we just like equip Durandal then to Girfrit and go into Isol and yeah win <laughs> so we rip Bell we saw the hand and yeah no more hand traps and yeah this is GG the scoop and here we just show off that we were, we were gonna summon Doppel and Renaud and we <laughs> finally we were gonna see Doppel and uh, for the win go access code and then double loop and here just straight forward into into floor five seven ten yeah and that was gg like floor pop no i know the set um this beat the token gear free beat this equip this attack attack yeah so that's it I think the game one was the mo the the most skillful part of the match, so I hope you learned something there, and maybe even here, like yeah, if you have gear free, you can go for the side login standby, which might be more resilient, especially post side. So keep that in mind, and see you in the next video. Like this video if you liked this video. Goodbye.